Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you and share my experience how to access a fingerprint reader from a web application. So the requirement was very specific that the client wanted to use Futronic FS50 a fingerprint reader. So I was trying to find out a best way to access this device on Windows machine from uh, from a browser. So I was looking for the libraries, uh, obviously JavaScript based uh, and then HTML. So, so we can capture the fingerprint and store and then do the logic onwards. So as you can see on, on manufacturer's website, um, there's not virtually no information about web-based uh, access. So it was hard to find all these things. Um, so that's why I decided to put together this information and it might be useful to others. So let me show you an example uh, sample demo here. So this is the web application and as you can see the device is not connected. So if I say get info, that is nothing. Server response can't get operation state etc so let me plug in right so the device is now connected now if I say get info you will see all the metadata about the device so API firmware hardware etc so now I'm going to do a demo scan so, capture and put the finger on. Perfect. So it's been successful and it's it's not that perfect in terms of quality here. But you, you get the point that it the scan has been successful. So, now once the scan is done, uh, the image is available in two formats. So one is the raw format, which could be used to convert to JPEG, PNG or any other image format or WSQ format so the most of the biometric authentication providers are uh, are using this format. So this is really simple right um, but the way it works is that there is a middleman that uh, talks to the hardware on behalf of the browser especially the web application. So the reason why I keep this network tab open is that you can see all the um, traffic and so the web application is obviously talking to someone, right? So let's open, for example, this. Uh, so it's a get request, it's okay, but as you can see, it is going to the local host port uh, 15,270. So what happens is, there is a client software installed on Windows and that is running as a service in the background so that the web application, so the JavaScript, can talk to that locally at this port and you know retrieve images and exchange information etc. So in order to find that client software it was difficult but I added uh, as part of the git repository which I'm going to share under this video so the HTTP client is part of the code base and that needs to be installed first and it will run as a service in the background all the time. So even if the PC gets rebooted, it will be available automatically. So that is the idea behind this and from the, <clears throat> from the format and from the image, from the result onwards, you can plug in, you can you know hook up any logic you have to do, whether you wanted to host a biometric authentication locally on your own server or you wanted to use a third party provider, etc. Um, but the idea is that web application can talk to the hardware and get the data. I hope the video is useful to you. You can also download the sample project from my Git repository. Thanks for watching. Thank you.